Hey everyone, my name is Scott and I have a very special guest. This is my boy Brooks. Say hi. Hey everybody all over the world, wherever you may be. Happy Monday. I hope this Monday finds you well. We are really, really excited, aren't we? High five. Awesome. Today we're going to be doing my weekly fragrance rotation. One of my favorite videos to make. Look at my son's fresh haircut. Pretty cool, right? Looking rock and roll. Looking awesome. Love you so much. So today we're going to talk about the fragrances I wore all week. So the first one we're going to talk about, buddy. This one is called Dark Cherry and Amber. I wore this last Sunday. Let's go ahead and spray it. I'll spray it on my wrist. Let's smell it. Tell me what you think. Tell everybody in the camera what you think it smells Kay. like. You think it smells good? What does it smell like? Strawberry. Strawberry? It's cherry. Does it smell like cherry? It smells really good, doesn't it? It's one of my favorite fragrances. And this week's theme is, guys, we're mostly going to be talking about fragrances that are under 50 bucks. I wanted to keep them cheap. These are all perfect for the winter time. And all these fragrances I have purchased at some time for 50 bucks, whether they're from a box store or from a discounter online. And this fragrance right here, Banana Republic's Dark Cherry and Amber, is so, so good, isn't it, buddy? Because you've got that sour cherry, there's a cherry blossom note, you've got praline amber, and it warms up nicely on the skin and it projects and does really, really well for the winter time. This fragrance lasts about six hours on my skin, so not bad. Not bad for that 40 buck range. I won this on a giveaway, but I have seen it in the box stores for around 45 bucks. You know, kind of like uh, TJ Maxx or Ross or Marshall's, something like that, right? So this one works really, really well in the wintertime, and it's perfect for men, perfect for women. It's just an amazing gourmand fragrance. You like it? Smell it. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Awesome. Okay, you want to keep going? This one was for Monday. I bought this fragrance a long time ago. This one is called Ferragamo F Black. And this fragrance, you can pick it up for around $37, but when I bought it, it was only 20 bucks, and I bought it from one of the box stores. Do you want me to spray it on your wrist? Smell it. Please. Does it smell good? I love this one because there's a heavenly, heavenly, heavy dose of lavender in here. To me, this seems like the perfect, perfect fragrance for the office. This is very non-offensive. It is very, very nice. There's lavender, there's apple, there's a little bit of a pepper note, and it just smells so good. I get about six hours on my skin, and there's some, there's kind of like a boozy quality to this that I really, really like. You don't know what booze is, do you? Nope, but it's definitely, yeah, you better not. It's definitely got that quality, and this is a really, really good fragrance for the wintertime. And you can't beat the price. And I bet you you can find it cheaper than, than what I've been seeing it for. But like I said, I bought this for $20. But now I see it around $37. And I wore this one on Monday because I just love this fragrance. And I haven't worn it in a long time. There's so many fragrances that I need to kick the dust off. And this was one of them. All right, guys. This one is a really cool fragrance, buddy. This one is named after a famous painter. And Daddy loves to paint and draw, doesn't he? Do you like to paint and draw? You're really good at it. I should show those people some of your drawings sometime. This one is called Andy Warhol. I wore this one on Tuesday. And this one is a clone of a famous fragrance by Bond Number no. 9. <laughs> you try to get in the camera? Okay. There's a fragrance called Bond Number no. 9, Andy Warhol. And that one's discontinued. And it costs like 600 bucks, doesn't it? Okay, well, this one doesn't cost that much. This one's only $38. What would you rather pay? $38 or $600? I'd rather, no, that's too expensive, right? $38 is way cheaper. And this smells so good. This goes eight hours plus, guys. The plum note is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's oud in this and vanilla. And from what I've heard, some of you who own both have told me that the original is a little bit better. But if I like this one that much, I can only imagine how good the original is, guys. This is perfect for the winter time. It's fun. It's flirty. And like I said, you're going to love that plum note, and you're going to get eight plus hours. And this thing projects far. You can smell it a long ways away. Do you want to smell it? Here, I'll spray it in here, and you tell me what you think. Smell this cat. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. That's a good plum note, isn't it? Next one we're going to do Wednesday now. Wow, I love this fragrance. This is from Calvin Klein. This one is called Evergold Euphoria for Men. 
Now guys, I found this in a box store for 45 bucks. It is getting hard to find. I've seen it online from anywhere from 32 to 54. It's really hard to find, but man, this fragrance is so, so good. There's citrus, honey is the star, there's amber. Do you want to smell this one? Let's smell it and you give everybody the thumbs up or the thumbs down, okay? Thumbs up. Yes, I love this one. I love the amber in here. I love the honey. It's so, so good. It's a little bit spicy, isn't it? And it smells so good and it does perfect in the wintertime. I almost feel like for this price, you could almost say that this is like a luxury niche fragrance. It's so good, right? And um, this one lasts about six hours on my skin, cuts through the cold perfectly. The last time I wore this, I got all... <laughs> Last time I wore this, I got all kinds of compliments. All right, guys, the next one on my list. This one's I got this one for 42 bucks, and hopefully you can find it for that. These are really hard to find. This one is called Moustache, and this is a copycat or a clone or a replica or an inspiration of another fruit called YSL, and it's called Tuxedo, and that one's 300 bucks. You know how much this one is? 42, so you can't beat it. Guys, it's about 80% of the way. Um, it may not be as smooth as the original, but it still goes. I know, this one, I get eight hours on my skin, and it projects really, really far. Smell this one. Put a thumbs up or thumbs down. Show the camera. Thumbs up. Mmm, yeah, this one's really good. Citrusy, a little bit of pink pepper. Has this nice boozy quality, right? Patchouli, well, you don't know what booze is, do you? Patchouli and vanilla, guys. It is so, so good. It cuts through this cold weather. Cuts through this cold weather like a samurai knife through butter. So good, guys. you got to get this one if you can. I highly recommend getting this one soon. All right, guys. Next one on the list is another cheapie. This one's about $39. Sometimes you can find it in the box stores. Sometimes you can't. But this one, $39. Bucks. This is called Mont Blanc Legend Night. So good. I love cardamom fragrances here. I'll let you smell the cap. What do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. He, he likes them all. That's good. That's good. So good, guys. This is, you know, nothing, nothing too cutting edge. A lot of people are doing lavender and apple together and vanilla. Those are the main ingredients. There's some patchouli, some woody no notes in here. And the lavender is really, really nice. And of course, you've got citrus on the top and cardamom. But this is so, so good. There's there's not a, like a boozy note listed in here, but the boozy quality is really, really good. We like this one, don't we, buddy? All right. Last but not least, this is what we wore on Saturday. This is from my good friend Sammy, Sammy Anders. And he has this amazing fragrance called Angels in Heaven. Angels in Heaven, isn't that cool? Guess how much this fragrance is. 30 bucks. All right, they can't see your beautiful face. There you go. Smell this one. Tell me what you think. Okay. It was thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. All right, guys, you're done. You want to go? Good job. Tell everybody bye. Say bye, everybody. Bye. Okay. See you, buddy. All right, guys, here you go. This one is from Sammy. If you haven't tried his fragrances and you love Beast Mode fragrances, you, then you definitely have to go and try Sammy. I'll put a link down in the description below where you can go to the link and save yourself some money, guys, because he makes absolutely amazing inspirations, niche quality fragrances at that. And in this fragrance, you've got cognac, cinnamon, tonka bean, oak, praline, vanilla, sandalwood. It's be just like Angel Share from Killian. Guys, so, so good for 30 bucks. You can't beat it. So, you know, those these prices aren't bad. Most of these are right around the $50 mark. And I've gone online and done my homework, and some of these are a little bit higher. Some of them are like 52 or just right at 50 But um, if you, you know, if you're patient and diligent and do your homework and check out the TJ Maxx, check out the Burlington, check out the... And I know some of these places are hit or miss. Check out Ross, things like that. Sometimes you can find some really good fragrances in there, some really hidden gems, and uh, come away feeling like a winner. Um, make sure you check the gray market, meaning everywhere online. Check all your sources online. Check the trade groups and all that stuff. And if you don't feel like any of these fragrances would be right for you, maybe you already know your scent profile, hey, it's worth a try instead of skipping over to at least buy a decant. Go over to Chef Mo and buy a decant. See if you like any of these fragrances before you totally dismiss them or before you get stuck with a fragrance you just don't like. 
So there you have it guys. Tried to keep it under 50 bucks. Those are my cheapies. Those are my fragrances of this week. And that was my son Brooks helping me out. So please give a thumbs up just for Brooksy. Um, I know Adam got a kick out of all you guys' comments when he helped me with my last video. So I know Brooks would really like that as well. And he'd appreciate your kind comments. And I know I would too. If you guys want to be a part of my family, be a part of my fragrance family, please come with me and join the journey. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button down below. Hit those bell notifications. That way the videos goes, goes into your feed and it helps the algorithm, guys. Thank you so much for being here. It really means the world. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Love. Ciao.